I what did you think? Your first Tom impression. McDonald's. So have you ever heard of Tom McDonald? Never. All right, that sounds good. Well, we're gonna check out this video. No lies matter. Let's get into it. Oh wait. Too interesting. This is my youngest brother, Brett, aka Bert, aka Birdo. Ready? Feels good to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into it. Hip hop diet is full of guys who cannot even rap. Facts. Media dividing us by colors, white or black. Facts. If you believe in Jesus, these days Christians get attacked. Facts. If you don't hate police, then everybody thinks you're whack. And everything's so connected. Black Lives Matter got so aggressive. White folks who agree can't support the message. Both sides go to war because they don't respect it. Our social climate. Okay. Ooh. 22 seconds in. We always have to pause, pause that a lot on these videos. He says so no, much. He did say a lot. I, I don't but, even remember uh, it all. What's your first impression of Tom McDonald? I don't want to say woke because of the new <laughs> meaning of what woke means, but uh, real. <laughs> like, right? The real woke, but I mean, woke isn't even the same word anymore, so I shouldn't even say that. But Dang, what did he say? Um, White people who like support. Man, I'm running back. If you believe in Jesus, these days Christians get attacked. If you don't hate police, then everybody thinks you're whack. And everything's so connected. Black Lives Matter got so aggressive. White folks who agree can't support the message. Both sides go to war because they don't respect it. Our social climate from the global tension turned to total violence and a whole depression. We could unify and then I'll go against them, but we let them divide us with votes and elections. Hey, the music we bump, all about shooting guns and doing drugs. Hey, whoa. Oh, he said, like, Black Lives Matter got so aggressive that white folks who agree can't support the message. Mm. Mm. What? Okay, I get what he's saying there. I get mm. what he's saying there. But, ah, I don't know. Like Black Lives Matter did get very aggressive. Who agree on... He's saying white folks who agree that Black Lives Matter? I feel like, yeah. I feel like he's saying like white people who agree that Black Lives Matter and they agree racism and all this like history. Okay. And, you know what I mean? Like people who are like they can't know, get down with normal BLM. Normal folks can't get down with BLM because right. it's so extreme and it's like, yeah. Burning down America doesn't really solve anything. Well, it wasn't BLM that did that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like also it's probably even more of a stigma maybe being white and then saying no to Black Lives Matter. Right. Because yeah. everyone agrees with the slo like what the slogan you know is like. The literal meaning black lives matter but not right. Right. their agenda but especially being white it probably has its own you know kind you can rub people the wrong way definitely right? you say you don't support it, it. Yeah. Well, you're a right. white supremacist by default yeah, but it's, I don't like, obviously, that. it's like most people modern day everyone for the most part black lives matter obviously you know what i mean but it's like nowadays if you don't agree with the statement like the, the organization the organization then you don't think black lives matter and it's like that is not true at all and right. I think most people know that, but it's manipulative. It's very it manipulative. Is. It saying, is. It's very manipulative. By the way, people also do say it as to like, at to get yeah, at people. Yeah, it's so much unsaid. Ugh, people are annoying. The fact that that's where we are now in society, that saying all lives matter is something that is offending people. Right. It's just so that's weird. Sad. But I feel like the all lives matter came in response to Black Lives Matter. Right. That's what people have said to so, me before. Because it does. It's like before Black Lives Matter, no one was marching saying all lives matter. Right. You know what I mean? So I feel like people say it to get under Black Lives Matter people's skin. Which is fine. It's fair game. Right, <laughs> Don't be so like, triggerable. Right. right. If I said all lives matter and that makes you blow a gasket, I mean... And what does that say about yourself, you know? Right. right. If you blow a gasket from someone saying that. But I, I'm saying, I get why people are mad about all lives matter. But right. people should not be what? so easy to trigger. I'm just saying, I get right. it. I'm just, at the same time, like... Be, like Black Lives Matter, that's kind of manip manipulative. Like the slogan and it disagreeing is. with the goal of the organization, despite not to tear down the nuclear family. The <laughs> right. So right. it just seems fitting that there is a response to it. And then now, who's the bigot? If you can't say all lives matter, then what is what does that say about where you truly stand? But it's nuanced. it is weird. You know, like it's do you only nuanced. care whenever it looks a certain type of way, or do you really care about all Black lives and all lives? Oh, you are you know, the answer like, to that. Right. I feel like so. I feel like it's kind of needed, almost. Like someone's gonna have to it throw is. something out there. To I mean, you're see, right to see where people really stand. You know, you are right hiding behind the slogan. Where because do you really if you think stand? about it, you could say insert any race, lives matter. Everyone's okay with it. But if you say all or white, then people get offended. So it's almost like you just have to exclude white. 
You can say people Which of color lives matter. No one, no one's gonna be mad. You can say black lives matter, Asian lives matter, Mexican lives matter, Indian lives matter. Right. You can go on and on and on. But once you get to white, people will have an issue. But so then I feel like what is white? Because then it's like, well, if you broke that down, and said Jewish lives matter, Irish lives matter. You know what I mean? It's like Russian lives matter. It's just like this is so dumb. This is like one of those things where I feel like people are like children, just like <laughs> you know what I mean, just back and forth, like just getting under each other's skin. For votes and elections, hey, the music we bump, all about shooting guns and doing drugs, hey, whoa, the things that we want are promoted subliminally through the songs, like you need a fast car, you need designer clothes, you need a rap star to tell you to start popping pills, hit the blunt, and go live at the club till you're broke. It's all controlled by. Mm. Wait, when he said that about promoting stuff in uh, our songs, like designer clothes and pills, it made me think, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Yeah, seriously. Spread that ranch on the new chain. My chick love to do cocaine. Like, they got the designer and the drugs Literally. right there in the hook. <laughs> yeah, and then a chick. Like, the whole life. Yeah. yeah. Man, that song's got it all. You need a rap star to tell you to start popping pills, hit the blunt, and go live at the club till you're broke. It's all controlled by the elites. Put fake news all over our screens. Convincing the right to go fight with the left and distract from the fact it's each other we need. Uh, divided by race and religion. Segregated into teams. Uh, you're a white supremacist. If you're not, I guess you Antifa. Oh. <laughs> Screaming from the roof. Oh my goodness. He just has a way with words delivery. Like every song we do of his, we always end up laughing and stuff. <laughs> Even though it's more of a serious subject matter, like the way he delivers it is hilarious. Hilarious. It's that hyperpolarization. You right? know, you're not with the Young Lim. Left and that means right. you're a white supremacist. You know right? that? It's a hyperpolarization. It's crazy. Right. Like everyone's extreme nowadays. Yeah, and he's saying like the left and right needs each other. Because like on the ground, like everyday people, you know, you know people on the left and the right, right. people who don't care about politics. Right. You know, like all these kinds of people. And like these are people you work with. These are your friends and your family. These are people you would lean on during hard times. You know what I mean? If you were hungry, it's like you can count on this person for a meal one day. If you're starving and struggling, it's like, oh, you can't be friends now because they're different politically. Right. right. You know what I mean? So then we're all on the ground just getting separated from people that we really care about and really connect with. Yep. Literally. And that's exactly what the media wants. You're a white supremacist. If you're not, I guess you Antifa. <laughs> Screaming from the <laughs> rooftops, <laughs> beat right. down better. Turn us on each other now, no lives matter. If we do what the news wants, blood gon' splatter. Turn us on each other till no lives matter. Freedom's dead if you have an opinion, take it back. People hate the president. If you don't, then you trash. Indoctrinate the nation using news and mainstream rap. The government abuses us. It's all part of the plan. Ooh. Okay, before that beat drops, we yes. gotta, gotta speak on it. Yeah. Okay, which lines do you guys remember from that? All the conspiracy. Whenever he does that, you know, like before he says a bunch of lines and drops a beat, every one of those lines is so like. Mm. So. I mean, part I remember is that if you don't hate the president, then you're whack or something like that. It's like, mm -hmm. if you don't post on your social media, F Trump, then right. you're, you're a bigot, Nazi, right. white supremacist, right. misogynist, right. Mexican <laughs> hater. You know what I mean? Right. It's yeah. like, my goodness. Literally, we did a Harry Mack video and we cut out a portion of the video where he was doing a freestyle about F Trump. Yeah. And we didn't even, it's like, maybe we just don't want that on our channel. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, that's just unproductive. Like, that's just like. But un people got mad at us for cutting that part mad. out. They're like, you cut out possibly the best rap he's ever done. Right. And that was like, my favorite part. Why'd you cut it out? And I'm like. It was ridiculous. We're not a political <laughs> channel. Like, right. That's unnecessary. And it just brings out polarities. And it's like, most people I meet are not extreme right or extreme left. You know what I mean? Right. So it's like, why do we need extremism in everyday conversation? Right. <laughs> so many people haven't broken away from the media. So it really, like, it's doing its job as intended. It's it's causing right. this hyperpolarization. Yeah. It's causing, people aren't getting these original thoughts that are just saying, oh, I hate this Trump man. This man's so... They see their, you know, favorite rappers and stuff say he's racist, but they look past all the pictures of them shaking hands and taking right? pictures with him. Right. Right. Think about all like the weird celebrity conspiracy things. They're like, oh, they got a picture with him. That means he's involved. So think of like, what does that mean then about all everyone's favorite rappers right. taking pictures with Trump smiling right. multiple times? Right. Multiple it's times. like, do they connect the dots? It's like, would you ever do that with someone that actually is, you know, a white supremacist or anything right. like that? Would you really be buddy buddy with right. them? That's super interesting thing. Right. But people are stuck in that media. That's why I'm like, that's the one bar that really stood out the most when he mentioned the media. And that mm -hmm. is just as people, if, if we all were doing whatever it wants us to do, then 
it would just be blood and just it would just be mayhem right it really would hate the president if you don't then you trash indoctrinate the nation using news and mainstream rap the government abuses us it's all part of the plan and it's so confusing black lives matter is a valuable movement but all lives matter ain't racist or stupid it's non-black humans who don't feel included all colors fall under laws to govern the whole country and we all suffer we're all broke and nobody recovers until we accept that we're all brothers hey the music we make all about big booties and getting paid hey whoa we watch the news and it fills up our brains with violence and riots and race like this is a race war you need to hate more get what you came for you need some songs about xanax and violence so you can escape more what a vicious cycle we can break away from okay okay yes this song is saying so much is it something like we all need to realize we're brothers facts yeah and the music is all about big booties and this this and that facts i mean <laughs> okay let's do an experiment you gotta think of a song that glorifies big booties see how long it takes what? Wap, okay, you got one? Uh, ass, ass, ass. <laughs> <laughs> Big Sean. Big Sean song from back in the day. All right, I think the official name. I don't want to slander. I think the official Arkansas. name of that is Dance. Yeah, oh, you're not yeah, going to like what I'm going to say. I don't want to talk down on Big yeah. Sean, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's but, cool. I'm going to say mean? Anaconda. <laughs> you know, my Anaconda. Well, yeah. that's not even, well, that was a sample of a different song. Yeah. You know what I mean? So let's go way back in the day. She got a dunk. Oh she my got gosh! Dunk. Okay, we she did. Got it. <laughs> I'm just saying, see, yeah. You see how easy it was for all three of us to think of a song just off the top that glorified what he's talking about. Yeah. Like hypersexualization, yeah. big booties, all that. Like that's crazy. It is. Try and think of a song that unifies people of all different political parties, we all different fall religions, down, races. But we ain't get it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Think of one. Go know. for it. Uh, that's not a Tom McDonald song. That is about uh, unifying. Michael everyone. Jackson. It doesn't matter if you're black there or you white. There you go. You oh, see how far back one. you had to go? You that's see how far right. back you had to go? That was a while ago. <laughs> the 90s, the last time they weren't truly, really dividing us. Right? Well, they probably were, but we were young. Yeah. We, we were really young. We didn't know what was going on. I feel like it was like more like optional, though. It was kind of like... <laughs> you could opt in to yeah. be divided. <laughs> yeah, I feel like back then it was more like... It wasn't so force-fed to you. You know what I mean? Like It's like you could see an all-white family on a commercial, and right. it's nothing and wrong it's, with that. They're not going to get canceled. And they're not getting canceled. They're not racist. You know what I mean? And you could... I mean, you could see white baby dog on the shelves, and it's not like, oh, your you daughter has to have a black one in her. White yeah. James Bond, and no one's mad about it. No right. One, you know what I'm saying? Or even like, Batman could be a man. Or non female, you know, superheroes. Right. You know what I mean? It was like, in the 90s, it was like kind of like explored it, I feel like. You know what I mean? Yeah, life was just like kind of normal. Yeah. But the, I'm just saying, music was still pretty ratchet. Like, it, it was getting there in the 90s. Easy. <laughs> and riots and race like this is a race war you need to hate more get what you came for you need some songs about xanax and violence so you can escape more what a vicious cycle we can break away from they control the culture they control the paper they're indoctrinating a whole generation till the patriots start to hate the nation the music we love make us dumb and addicted the news that we watch is brainwashing the children the virus is riots and racist conditions ain't problems they're symptoms of life in the system Ooh. screaming from the rooftop <laughs> beat down Ooh. better Oh my gosh. Got? I just love how that, okay, so like the last one we did, he was like, something, 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 it's brilliant. Remember he was talking about like, like they do all this and they like set you up yeah. and, then, and then he's like, something is brilliant. Like right. It's intentional, it's brilliant. I feel like he always has this like cold ending to a sentence that just leaves you like, ooh. The news that we watch is brainwashing the children. The virus is riots and racist conditions ain't problems, they're symptoms of life in the system. Screaming. Hold up. The news that we watch is brainwashing the children. I actually saw something on social media once. Mm -hmm. And it was like a kid. It was like a little black kid or something. And like, it was a video. Like, they kind of set this up. It wasn't probably so spontaneous. They probably coached the kid up. But the kid was like asking like their parents, like, am I going to die? Like doing the Black Lives Matter stuff. Mm -hmm. But it was like, okay, either that kid's watching the news or the parents are watching, watching the news and brainwashed. And now they're trying to brainwash other people by making this emotionally manipulative video put on social media. It went right. viral. It's probably, of course oh no, it went viral. little black kids don't feel safe. Like, how would you not feel safe unless you're watching the news? You know what I mean? Or your parents have been brainwashed by the news that if you're black and you're just driving, then you're at a high risk of being shot by a cop or something crazy like that. I don't know. But it was weird. It was very weird. See weird things on social media modern day. Yeah. It's like, how did this go viral? Like, I've literally seen a hundred thousand things that I like better than this. And stuff goes viral, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> The virus is riots and racist conditions ain't problems, they're symptoms of life in the system. Screaming from the rooftops, beat down better. Turn us on each other now, no lives matter. If we do what the news wants, blood don't splatter. Turn us on each other till no lives matter. The 
music will make you dumb. The media makes you hate. And they control them both. There ain't no escape. They put the world in a state of chaos. Economy crashing and massive layoffs. Black against white or it's left versus right. Divide and conquer and control is the payoff. Screaming from the rooftops. Beat down better. Turn us on each other now. Okay, divide and conquer, control is the payoff. I think about this a lot. Okay, I get the whole divide and conquer thing. It's very obvious that they're trying to divide and conquer us. Mm -hmm. But, like, what do they really get from it? I mean, they're in power, but if we weren't divided, are we supposed to overthrow the government? Like, I feel like if we, even if we weren't divided, we're still going to vote someone in office. They're still going to be in power. Like, what is this control? Like, what do, they, what do they get out of it? I think they get to, just if we weren't so divided, a lot of people they're like the stuff people are doing in office that most people wouldn't approve of it's easy to overlook someone's oh, right. bad when you're like that's the lesser evil i don't True. care if they're technically an oath breaker that doesn't represent or care about its constituents it's not mm -hmm. a white supremacist <laughs> so that way you can you can do anything under people because that guy's a lot worse you right. want, want the lesser of two yeah, evils so it's like polarizing people to hate somebody more than they like anybody else yeah. Mm. And I guess it also consolidates resources in a way. If we're all divided, we're not going to be supporting each other's businesses and all this right. kind of stuff. So lies? who's going to win? All these big corporations, all yeah. the money's going to be funneled there. When we were like united, we'd be supporting everyone's business. You right. wouldn't have all these super mega crazy corporations. Right. Right. I feel like it's distracting. And then he said something like the news and music, they're on the same team, like the media and the music, they're all brainwashing mm -hmm. everyone. And that's true. You think about it, like we get videos blocked by like Warner Warner label, Warner Records or something? Music group. W Warner Music Group, yeah. okay. And then also you have Warner. They make movies and all this right. other kind of crazy stuff too. Yeah. I'm sure they own a lot more stuff that I'm not even aware yeah. of. And people let us know in the comments. <laughs> like, like Warner owns a lot of things. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, Time Warner is a cable network. Too. Yeah, cable network. Yeah. I feel like you're onto something. It's a big distraction. Obviously. No, yeah, that that's a good observation. Yeah, it's a big distraction. Definitely. It's kind of like what, um, I think it was Confucius maybe that said... Uh, like if you take, if you look at the music from a culture, like basically that kind of reflects the culture and reflects like what, what they're doing. It could be from any, you know, era. It could be from a hundred years ago, what type of music were they playing? And that mm -hmm. will reflect that culture a little bit. So the music that's being played on the radio now the most, that kind of reflects the culture right. we have going on. Exactly. You know? And then <laughs> Disney owns a lot of stuff too. Uh, yeah. And I know Disney owns ESPN. And you know they make a bunch of movies, but ESPN went really woke. They did. I remember it's like Stephen A. Smith was on there saying that uh, like Steve Nash got a head coaching job or something because he was white. Like this is on ESPN now, so I can only imagine if that energy is being infused into the cartoon movies uh, and stuff they're making, like that same so, energy. Gosh. Oh my gosh, it's so annoying because it's like nobody actually cares about race that much. Like literally, right. it's right. the most uninteresting topic <laughs> I've ever heard of. Like beyond being a child and being like, oh, interesting, skin pigments are unique and like I'm curious. Other than curiosity in that way, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? And you they don't just, want to know everyone's race with every story no, you hear about people? Cause, because <laughs> even if you do a DNA test, you end up being 20 different races anyway. You know what I mean? You end up being all these different cultures, right. which you've never even been in most of these countries. So it's literally like a theoretical, like, I identify as such. But in reality, it's like, I care about eating. I care about having fun. You know what I mean? <laughs> I agree, definitely. Like, if we cared so much, we'd ask, what's your DNA report? You know, like, right. that's not anything. Right. I've never thought to, like, share it really it's never it's been weird it's, like, it's never been a hang up for friendships and stuff and then it's like people just want to watch football kick you know kick up your feet have a beer and it's like you gotta watch like a race baiting tv like right all right no lives matter Yes, what did you think? Your first Tom impression. McDonald. First impression. Yeah, what's your verdict? It's real, definitely. <laughs> like, it's real. Like, that's. I feel like years ago, that's something we would call woke, you know, right. before woke before meant. Woke, before, before it became a cringy certain, word. Before yeah, before the mess. cringe that came with it. Mm -hmm. uh, but definitely, that's something that I'd like to see stuff like that on the radio, but. I feel like these major companies wouldn't yeah wouldn't want it. Yeah. It goes against their agenda, but that's the sad thing that that but I like it. I like the delivery too. The delivery is real nice. Uh 
but yeah, my first impression is definitely this is some real stuff we're getting into. This is, <laughs> right? This is something real. I want to rewind every every thirty seconds. I want to rewind it. It's so hard to like catch everything your first time listening. Right. You know, like it's tough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, time is a beast, though. I feel like the mainstream media, whatever powers that be, don't want people to see stuff like this because they want you to be triggered by like seeing I can't breathe and like seeing all kinds of, you know, <laughs> other triggers. They want you to instantly go into that like emotional state and then like all this that he's saying won't get through to you. Like he literally said nothing racist at all. He said Black Lives Matter could be such a good movement. Like, you know what I mean? If anything, I feel like he was like, he could be in Black Lives Matter if it wasn't so lit, you know? Yeah, they weren't so violent. If it wasn't so violent, I feel like he would support it almost. So it was like, but people won't hear that. They'll be like, oh, he's a racist. He's, a, you know what I mean? Like, but I feel like they want you to be triggered by like George Floyd, like just a name. You know what I mean? They want you to be triggered by like a couple words so you don't mm. hear this. And then, like you said, the I can't breathe. It's that emotional manipulation. They want right. to get to your emotions. They want you to almost feel some of that pain yeah. right. to, to really take in what they're saying. Yeah. So it's very manipulative. It really is. But this makes me think also... It, is music real? Like, this is something so real, but you don't hear it on most stuff. Like, the music we hear on the radio right. is just... Right, like, what is it? It's like someone's just programming you to... Right. Just, you know, right. it seems like so... The same people who own these record labels own companies that train and produce actors and produce fantasy films. They're producing right. the music, too. You know what That's I mean? So, it's probably so music is the same as watching some kind of sci-fi. It's like you know to take mean? you... But we look at it like it's real because it's about things that really do happen. But it's really, to me, it's the same thing. It's a production for entertainment. It's not real. Most music. Yeah. That's so sad. Right? And then I thought music used to be real. It it did. And now, I feel like there's a lot of things that make you think, this is real music. This is the top of the billboard. This is what gets the most Mm -hmm. plays ever. But most of it's radio. It's not selling the most by any means. Right. It has radio, major playlisting calculated into there. What? These artists got a Grammy. You can't tell me they're not good. Like That's all some people can say. Some people are actually speaking the truth in theirs. And they don't get awarded. This. So, yeah, I feel like the agenda is showing for uh, yeah. like the industry and the main entertainment industry. But, My question is, what happens next? Like, so the powers that be are realizing, like, Tom McDonald, he he has 2 million subscribers. That's not a whole lot, but, I mean, there's a decent number of people who are aware of what's going on. Right. It's not so, like he has, like, 10,000 subscribers right. or something. You know, it's like, not like, I'm saying he has yeah. 2 million. That's a lot of, she's saying it's not, like, 100 million right. or something. And but it's, like, conspiracy theory is becoming, good like, amount. mainstream, like, known information. So now what's next? Like, how are they going to deceive us next and distract us next? You know? I feel like they're going to keep... The division thing going. But they have to. It'll just be in a different way. Maybe they have to escalate it to where we're literally fighting for survival that we can't. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just... I'm you like trying to bait me. She so always tries to bait me to go full conspiracy <laughs> theory. Yeah, you know. Oh, we got to fight for survival? <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I'm just saying, what's the next level? Like, when people are, like, so, like, aware that they start, like, taking their money and putting it where, they, where it matters and, like, not listening to the mainstream stuff. Well, that's how you get pandemics and things. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I feel like that's but, I mean, already okay. happening. Because if you think about the pandemic, what happened? A massive transfer of wealth from small businesses right. to large business. Because the small right. businesses are not open, and the large businesses are. Right. So now right. you have, and they have thousands of people these, crammed into yeah. Walmart, all into shoulder to shoulder. Walmart. shoulder. I can feel you breathing on my neck, but yeah. this is safe apparently for a pandemic. Right. I can't go to my local small grocery store where it's like max They're three or four down. people in there at a time. Facts. You know what I mean? It's ridiculous. Yeah. Don't get me started. And then all this stimulus money in the economy, right? Doubling or whatever the the money in this in circulation, but like how much more money did anybody at all on the ground get? You know right. what I mean? Like well, they're everybody money I know left is broker. Right. You know, but they're printing like what? <laughs> I wonder how much you know Walmart and other major corporations benefited or oh like, man, you know right? they made money right? hand over yeah. fist. And of course we wouldn't know because they don't want it. Like it's kind of underplayed. Like oh, you just right. need this. You know we have I mean, limits. You can look on at their uh, annual reports and all that kind of stuff. Mm. Yeah, I'm just wondering where it's headed because this is like you know a lot of us are kind of picking up on these things. I want a lot more music like this to gain traction, but um. I don't know. I just feel like a lot of people just think, oh, this song's on the radio. It must be the best. Like, they only pick the best of the best. A lot of people just, right. they'll still, right. they won't ever break away. You know, I, even though 
I mean, maybe that's just a very cynical way. A lot of people don't think. There's a turn on the radio. <laughs> bop, bop, bop. <laughs> Booties, <laughs> drugs, <laughs> bop. Shots, shots, shots. <laughs> Booty, drugs, bop. You know what I mean? It's like, that's it. <laughs> I mean, I think that's strategically designed, but that's still probably thinking from a more cynical point of view. I it's, think it is too. So they give you everything pleasurable. So you're just a big, you know, toddler. Just, oh, this yeah. is good. Big butt, big butt. Yeah. Money. Yeah, just, money, just cars, you, booties, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like handing peanut butter or something to a dog. Like they're just gonna lick it no matter what. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Are you comparing people to dogs? <laughs> I am. You know, I love dogs. Like think about when they call a human a dog, it's usually in like a you know they more mean negative type way. of way because it's like this person has no resistance, no self control when it comes to any pleasure sense. They're just they just go complete hedonism. You know, like, right. that's what they call a dog, because dogs have that consciousness. Right. They just act. Compulsory. They yeah. They're compelled to do things by whatever's in their environment. Yeah, exactly. So, I think that's what they prey on, and they try to get that out of people. They just, you know, try to give you a bunch of pleasurable garbage, and you're just drawn into this zombie Yeah, land. it's like, oh, but I like it, but I hate it, but I like it. <laughs> I have a theory. <laughs> okay, let's hear okay. it. Let's like, hear okay, it. Okay, this let's is all it. I'm going to say, and then we can wrap okay. it up, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you know how they, like, found the bliss point with sugar and food? Mm -hmm. So, it's like, they can make anything taste good. You hit that bliss point. Okay. Like, too much sugar is too sweet, too little. It's like, it doesn't make you addicted. You know what I'm talking about? The bliss point. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Right. I feel like they found out how to do that with music. Mm. If you think about it, go listen to some music from the 90s or even early 2000s. It sounds a little more raw. You know what I mean? It, it yeah. sounds very different. I'll try to, oh, I used to love this song. Let me listen to it. It's like, oh, that doesn't sound the same. It doesn't Modern day, yeah. music sounds so good. It doesn't have to be about anything at all, but it sounds so good. It's like an ear massage. Yeah. You have to listen to some modern day music. Cardi B, even, that ratchetry. Listen to that, and then go listen to something from the 90s that you used right. like, or early 2000s. It does not sound the same. Like the audio engineering, I feel like they found a bliss point to oh, make yeah. you like it, even if right. you disagree with the message all the way. That's my theory. I think it's in the beats, definitely. Mm -hmm. like, gotta be. It definitely. No, like, you gotta hear the lyrics. voices. Even listen to old yeah. Lil Wayne and new Lil Wayne. Like the, the voice is different. Like, yeah, the, all the auto-tuning engineering. Oh, yeah. The beats, too. The beats are insane. I feel like they're hypnotic. The beats are yeah. crazy. But the voice, too. Like, they, it's yeah. all auto-tuned. It's crazy. But it's not the lyrics and it's not it's the crazy. character. Yeah. If you look at that mm -hmm. person and then put them in a Walmart, you know, aisle, you're not gonna look at them and be like, wow, this is the next, you know, number one chart. <laughs> this has to be a celebrity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, and if you listen to that, like those words just being said, like somebody's having a conversation, you overhear, you're not gonna be like, oh, the greatest conversation ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's so profound. Right? <laughs> what does she say? If it's up, yeah. then it's stuck? Oh, oh my it's goodness. Up. Oh, God. If it's up, then it's stuck. This is Genius. great. But like Genius. that song sounds good, even though it is ridiculous. The song is right. horrible. Right. But it sounds really good to the ear. Mm, I, I think, think you're onto something. They found an audio bliss point. I really yeah. do. You got it. And, but that's why it's also Definitely. hard for newer artists to come up because they don't have these the same technology. Yeah, so that's too. my theory. The I'm sticking with Dr. Called... Dr. Dre worked on that. He would play different like sounds of different frequencies, just seeing how the ear reacts to it, seeing like which notes it opens up mm. to. So he was big on the science of it, of like mm. which notes hit your ear a certain way. Dang. That's why some of those songs that he designed just it has that effect on you. You just feel it because it's designed that way. I was right. surprised at how much content he was able to put in there. I, was, I didn't even know it was going to be like that. I'm used right. to songs not having any... It was dense. Yeah, I'm used to songs not having anything to them. Right, just all fluff. And then the same people who make that music say, oh, Black Lives Matter. Right. Power to the people. <laughs> Black Lives <Right>. Matter. <laughs> like, really? Actions speak louder than words. You just talked about murking someone who stepped on your shoes. And now you want to say Black Lives Matter? But right. okay, now you're getting me started again. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. All right. Wait, I told you guys I had a brother that would like this music. People didn't believe me. I told you. <laughs> Tried to tell you. But yeah, that's all we have on this one. Thanks for kicking on the couch with us. If you want to help the channel grow, you can like, subscribe, comment, or share this video with someone who needs to see it. Let us know your take on this video or any kind of your favorite bars that we missed down below. Appreciate you. That's a wrap. I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road. You the go. She told me, boy, you the go. Like, I don't know. But I don't know.